WFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this Tuesday. This is the 12th of April, and we're looking at, see this chart right here, this is a 10-minute E-mini at about uh, one, uh, that was, no, that's about three o'clock yesterday. It stalled at about the 44.33 level. Takes the whole night, was just pulling back all night, and then at about one o'clock this morning, it started to find some support. And look at this beautiful potential cup formation left side, right side price, time match. And suddenly, there's this news report at 8 30 that says inflation was, I think, what was it, about 8.6% in the ballpark that people thought it would be not higher and that made uh, for a really sharp move to the upside i love these bold formations i'll be talking about that in my webinar coming up tomorrow at four o'clock for subscribers to my opening call let's just run the numbers now what we're looking at is the e-mini the s p is up 40. the s p the dow uh trading right now is up a hundred and uh, 253 it was actually up a little bit more earlier on and this is going to be very important because we had a horrible session yesterday as the market just kept on pulling back towards the lower of the day so it's really important that the dow starts to get to the 34700 level 34700s the qqq having a nice bounce today uh, but it, it really took a dive yesterday, and that's not good. At 347, it's up six. It needs to be up a lot more than that. IWM, the Russell 2000, very strong move today. This is the small caps having a really good rally. Gold, uh, we're talking about gold, and I'll talk about uh, talk about it in terms of resistance levels. It did get to the 1977. I said 1978. Ohio starts to actually break out. This is very good action, not great, but very good action in gold. Uh, crude oil has been pulling back, has a very strong day today after the double bottom test. It's up five at 99.60. The big deal, and I'm going to talk about it just in a moment when I do my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour, is what happens to the TLT. Is this that channel that it just breaks out of on the downside and then it wants to go back in so that yields can at least have a bit of a, a slide here instead of rallying all the time? A lot to talk about when I return for my Tiger Technicians Hour. Hope you can stay. It should be a very interesting session because we're right on the cusp of the 10 o'clock news coming up. We'll see if that's going to impact the market as the 8.30 um, uh, inflation news did. I'll be back in a moment. Hope you can stay. Have a great day.